Hello, I'm Doug Stevenson for The Developer Show, and I'm here in Madrid at the Firebase Summit, where we just heard about new products and launches in the Firebase platform. It's been a great day of sessions, code labs, and hanging out with everyone here. But if you want a summary of the best new features, you're in the right place, because I'll give you the top five in reverse order for dramatic effect. Kicking us off at number five is the latest improvements to the Firebase emulator suite. The Firebase CLI has the ability to emulate various products, such as cloud functions and Firebase hosting, so you build against them on your local machine without having to perform a time-consuming deployment. The emulator suite is now better integrated, adding local support for real-time database and cloud Firestore, as well as security rules, so you can build and test all of these components of your app together at the same time. Coming in at number four is Firebase Test Lab Test Sharding. I call this sort of a sleeper hit since it didn't get much discussion on stage, but mobile app developers have been looking forward to this for quite some time now. If your app has a lot of tests, and I think it should, it can take a long time to cycle through them all in order. Now, Firebase will shard your tests across multiple devices so they can run faster in parallel. This should help optimize your build, test, and debug cycles. At number three is Firebase app distribution graduating to public beta. If you are a Crashlytics beta user, this is an evolution of that product. App distribution makes it easy to run a private beta of your own Android or iOS app to selected users. It will then collect crash reports and allow users to give timely feedback. This helps you gain confidence that your app is ready to ship to production with minimal issues. Near the top at number two, we have Firebase extensions. The story with extensions is this. Firebase now provides a bunch of pre-packaged solutions to common development tasks, largely powered by cloud functions on the back end. Each extension does one thing, and it does it very well, such as resizing images uploaded to cloud storage, shortening URLs, and mirroring data from Cloud Firestore to BigQuery. Extensions can be installed and configured from the Firebase CLI or the Firebase console, and you can even view the source code if you want to see exactly how they work. Check out the growing catalog of extensions using the link below. And my favorite new launch here at the Firebase Summit is support for web applications in Google Analytics using Firebase SDKs. This makes it much easier to understand the behavior of your users as they switch between the web and mobile versions of your app, and even across devices they use. And it gets better as web support for analytics also enables the use of Firebase Remote Config for the web, as well as targeted notifications using Firebase Cloud Messaging. So definitely check this out if you're building a web app and have been waiting for these tools to become available. If you'd like to dig into these new releases some more, there will be some links to videos for the other sessions here from the Firebase Summit in the description below, as well as to the documentation. And if you didn't know, Firebase has its own channel on YouTube with tutorials and other helpful content about Firebase products. So be sure to click through and I'll see you there. Firebase Cloud Messaging. So definitely check this out if you're building a... <laughs> I'm like, I know that's gonna roll right behind me, isn't it? It's gonna do that. <laughs>